Hello everyone, hope you are well on a Tuesday night. It felt really good here today in our little nook of Northeast Georgia. Uh, the temperature was down from what it has been. It was about, it was in the 70s, it may have gotten close to 80, <clears throat> but it really felt dang good today. All right, it really did. I know that's not gonna last. I know uh, we are still in August and it's going to pop back up there and be hot, hot again, but so enjoy it while it lasts. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about uh, several different th ways that I believe that right now is a good time to be preparing for some things, okay? And I wanna talk about several different categories that I think that we need to be preparing in. And I'm gonna talk about that and then I'm gonna have a verse at the end, towards the end, that I believe will resonate with a lot of you. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, I think right now uh, is just a really good, I don't know if you can really call it a lull right now and everything, but I think it's just a good time, a good opportunity, you know, before we start getting into the fall, winter, <clears throat> that we can start shoring up some things and just really um, preparing, uh, purchasing, not purchasing, or things that we need to be doing, okay? Um, we're kind of in a period right now, at least it seems that way. Uh, let me back up just a second. I believe that we are the country and, and I think the, the world is in a slow decline right now. I believe we're in a slow spiral that could speed up. I could speed up at any time. Okay. So that's why I think right now we have some time to, to really really get down to nitty gritty preparing. All right. And I'm going to mention some things. <clears throat> I'm going to probably leave some things out. I'm sure. So share, fill in the gaps, share what you're doing as well. I'll start with growing. So all you planters, you growers, gardeners, uh, homesteaders. Okay. And now is the time to amp up and just really reinvigorate. Okay. Um, we're getting towards the end of the summer, depending on where you live, of course, you know, that can vary, <clears throat> but I know what we're doing here, Northeast Georgia, uh, in, in our little spot here, uh, is as far as we're, we're, we're planting more stuff, you know, we still have some heat to go. So as far as what we're planting outdoors right now, still is, uh, green beans, carrots, and beets. We had some success with those things in the past, and we are still uh, going to, we're, we're, Ms. Dog was out there a while ago, uh, earlier this evening, planting more of those things. Inside, indoors, <clears throat> where it's still cool, we'll keep it cool for a while, we're, we're starting to, uh, to grow uh, broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, lettuce, and snow peas. Now we got them in grow lights that we're gonna start inside and then when the weather gets more cool on a consistent basis, we'll move it outside, okay? <clears throat> so fall, winter, planting and gardening, okay? Again, depending on where you live, it may be too early to be, you know, planting some stuff right now on the heat, with the heat and your temperature where you are. The main thing is that we need to really uh, bolster and really double down on gardening and whatever we can grow okay whatever you can will help all right and just don't get up you know don't don't give up on it keep keep going <clears throat> now's a good good time to get the seeds okay not only a good time to get seeds for now in the fall and winter but for next spring okay we uh miss dog does the ordering of uh the seeds we talk about it of course and she orders them online uh there were some things that we could not find online we did pick them up in person when we were shopping this past weekend. Uh, Tractor Supply had a good, uh, a good stock of seeds. And Home Depot actually had a very good supply of them where we live. So <clears throat> we stocked up on that. All right, so we're in good shape on that. Um, as far as our garden right now, what's still producing is okra, some green beans, uh, and, but okra is still going crazy. And uh, we're not sure about the melons, the watermelons. They've slowed down a lot. They may not make it, uh, the ones that are out there. 
And sweet potatoes, we still, we're still holding out hope for that, okay? <clears throat> so gardening is one thing. The other thing, more financial. Now, I'm not a financial advisor by any means, okay? However, there are some things that I think we should be thinking about not doing. Uh, keep some cash out. Keep cash out. Now, that, the amount is different for everybody, okay? Um, that is up to you. But I would keep some out in case something goes down with the banking services, your credit card, debit card services, uh, where you're going to buy things or being able to uh, draw cash out, get some out now and uh, keep it in a safe place, okay? So cash is one thing. The other thing is to build, you know, do what you can. I know it's different for everybody, but build up whatever kind of safety net you can as far as cash reserves, all right? Or whether that's in cold, hard cash in your hands or in a savings account, gold, silver, whatever that is for you, okay? It's different for everybody. The main thing is to have a safety net for not in case, but when, not if, but when those emergencies, the life curveballs will hit you. They will hit you. We got hit not long ago, you know, so um, they're going to happen. So when those things do happen, you have some type of reserve to fall back on. You don't have to go to the credit cards. You don't have to try to borrow more stuff. Okay, more money. And you can You can get through that. All right. Um, so any kind of cash uh, reserve or uh, safety net, savings, whatever you want to call it. All right. Build what you can. Anything is good. Anything is good. You're like, well, dog, I can't save. $25. You know, put a little bit of back each, each week, every two weeks. Okay. It builds up fast. Okay. Whatever you can do. I would hold off on big purchases. I mean, it depends on what, you know, if you, if you need it, you have to have it, but um, purchasing a home, uh, car, truck, if you can have your own vehicle last longer, if you can keep it patched up, repair, I would hold off <clears throat> big purchases, campers, boats, RVs, four wheelers, all that stuff, you know, those, you know, from everything we're seeing and hearing, most likely the prices are going to come down on these things. Okay. All these things. Now with cars and trucks now, you know, I follow that a lot, of course, and there's a big supply problem. There is a supply chain problem. They're getting parts they still have uh, chip shortages or whether it's a, 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 whether it's a shortage by design, mm, we don't know. That could be it, you know. Uh, but uh, there are still high prices on these new and used vehicles. Still, used vehicle lots are filling up, but they're still demanding high prices on these things now. So it should start coming down. Now, when that happens, we don't know. Uh, but I would hold off if you can on that and keep an eye on it. <clears throat> keep stacking. Okay, I know I say that a lot, but Three to five items extra every trip to the store if you can. The more the better. Whatever you can budget. Keep stacking it. And don't forget about water. Okay. Rain barrels are awesome. Rain barrels and a filtration. Okay. Some type of way to filter it are, are, are awesome things to do. Um, three to five items. I don't care if that's can, shelf stable, anything uh, non-perishable. <clears throat> Keep stacking that. Okay. Okay. Um, I would think about, <clears throat> for some reason, this just jumped in my mind when I was making notes, but think about having some kind of entertainment. You may already have this and not even realize or forget about it. Uh, some entertainment that is not, um, that does not require electricity. Board games, card games. You know, something that you can do outside or even indoors that is entertaining that does not require a hookup for electricity in case we lose electricity, even if it's temporary, something to keep you busy. Drawing, art, Nerf football, you know, uh, board games are great, all right? Pull out those old board games, dust them off, all right? Um, prepare physically, Any get moving, anything you can do. We're all different as you're able, you know, but physically, Mentally, self-care, treat yourself, okay? Mentally, physically, spiritually, let's keep praying. 
We have to keep close to God, keep close to God and keep striving to be like Jesus, okay? I don't think anybody, any one of us can be like Jesus 100%, but we can strive to do that. The more the better, okay? Personal protection. I think crime is just going to keep going up, okay? I think we can see lawlessness on a level that we are not even thinking about right now. I really do. Maybe not everywhere, but in, in a lot of places, okay? Personal protection, still a thing, all right? Personal protection, awareness, security, security of your home. Look at that. Look at it from the outside looking in. See where your weak points are, okay? I think theft's going to increase big time, too, especially as prices go up, even food, you know? All right, I have a good verse course that I believe <clears throat> you will get something out of. It is <clears throat> 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. Now, that can probably be interpreted different ways. The way I look at it is the past is done. Look forward. The past is done and gone. You can't change it. You can't change that. All right, we can only go forward. And if we are in Christ and stay and walk with Jesus, we are new. It can be every day. Tomorrow's a new day, even if you're not walking with him right now or you've walked with him in the past and you haven't been, tomorrow's a new day, okay? All right, let's keep that in mind. Share your thoughts. Let's be safe out there. God bless you. See you soon.